Well, I've been, like many other people, challenged by seeing all the Body Wells exhibitions worldwide and asking myself, where has the fascia been? I have been approaching Gunther von Hagens personally probably for the last nine or ten years, but we didn't have enough momentum. And it was about one and a half years ago that in preparations to the last Fashion Research Congress, I approached them one more time, and that time we had enough momentum. My task before, before this project, was only to remove fascia. And now, we, we, we keep the fascia. It's our important thing to keep the fascia. And I see how complicated in detail the fascia is, the, the network of the fascia, and how important it's, it is for the for the human being. Yeah. So my name is Alejandro Navarro Valdivia and I am working with you in this fascia project. My task is to assist. In the beginning Robert approached us during the workshop that he taught here at the Plastinarium in Guben and he had the dream of showing this fascia body really. So we were excited about the project, but the timeline was very, very tight. I think there were eight months until the fascia congress in Berlin. And we normally take at least 12 to 14 months for a body that we really, really know well. If it's an exhibition body, we more take one and a half or two years. We felt we want to do it properly and we were just not able to do this in such a short time frame. We spoke with him, he organized helpers already, so we just did a few single fascia specimens for this congress and then said we do something properly afterwards. So we had no idea how it would look like if we plastinate only fascia. We were quite certain or we thought that it should look like the way it turned out actually, but we simply didn't know. Initially we wanted to do this test run and not test this first try of of plastinating with a full body specimen. Robert approached us again. We had a meeting in Frankfurt and discussed on the concept, on the layout, and we are really, really grateful that we have people from the Fascia Society helping us with dissection, because I think this is quite, quite important. We know anatomy very well. We know very, very well how to plastinate, but still it is very important for us to have the support on the specific topic of fascia. We are glad that we took this approach of starting with a few single specimens and now doing this beautiful full body specimen. Yeah, I'm really excited. Our group's grown from four to five now. She's like the, the form is in the room. Um, she looks like in her lifetime she looked after her body really well. And so the body that's been chosen for us in this project right now seems perfect in many ways. She looked after herself well. She presents beautifully on the, on, on the table. Her, her form is great. And I think it'll be a real pleasure working with her and we'll get to know her more as the days go from here. We're here with the form that we'll be working with for the next six months and in a tradition that many cadaver labs have been doing, we take some time to make a thoughtful reflection on giving a name to the form. And so after thinking about it, we came up with one. Freya, which is um, from Norse mythology um, for the word love. Goddess of love. Yeah. Um, given the fact that uh, the heart will be in the hand mm -hmm. and held high proudly, the expression, I think it seems quite appropriate. Felt right. Yeah. A couple of years ago, I was involved in the 
plastination project of fascias, which was completely new field for me because uh, previously we plastinated um, fascia aponeurosis, but not in this scale. I didn't expect that it will be right smooth right away, you know, but um, I like it. I like it. There is excitement. Um, I like people who are involved. I like the creativity of people. So that's, I think, the most exciting part of the present project. In the beginning one, we didn't have the final design, so we had to adjust and readjust and readjust again the design, the plan, the posture of the body. And I think with these people, with this motivation, we are able to do this. We're here, it's day minus one. Tomorrow is day one. Group one, week two. And... It is Sunday and look who just got here. Phase three, week four, <laughs> day zero, because tomorrow is day one. Hi from Goobin. Um, it is phase three, group two, week three, day two. We are sitting in the kitchen of the dormitories, which is uh, where we've been staying this week. Here we are. Group three, week three. Okay, one, two, three, cheers. Cheers to you and cheers to Team Flyer. Cheers. cheers. Cross. Group five, week two. Almost at the very end. This is probably the world's largest uh, institute on macroscopic anatomy. There is probably no other place on this planet where you can learn on macroscopic anatomy as much as you can here. They have a long history and a deep expertise. However, like in most other places of classical anatomy, they have been focusing their macroscopic approach on cleaning fascia off in order to emphasize the other tissues. And we are doing the opposite. We are not the first ones doing it, but this is now the first attempt in which we are doing it in a systematic fashion. So over the next one and a half years here, we are working together with them on a fascia-focused dissection. And that is a very exciting project. Yeah, we have done, of course, we have done a series of uh, extremely interesting projects, but this fascia plastination project is going to be one of most exciting projects in, in our history. We did it. An amazing achievement. Really amazing. It's been quite emotional. This is the last day of the project. So it's not the end, but it's the end of this particular phase, which has been quite moving. <laughs> Over and out. Over and out. For now. And the giraffe. <laughs>